Beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekly love reading for this week of March 2023. Do keep in mind that time is fluid, and this is your channel, Leo. Any reading on this channel can resonate to you, but please take what messages are yours, leave the rest behind, and do not force a reading to fit. If it's not yours this time around, it just may not be yours this time around, and that's okay. Today is March 13th, Leo. It is officially my birthday, my solar return, and I want to give y'all a very special shout out in thanking you. I am so appreciative to every one of you Leos on this channel. Your support, your love, your comments, just everything means so much to me. Y'all are absolutely one of my greatest gifts, and it truly warms my heart so much to know that this community has grown so large and we are all connecting with each other as well as supporting each other on this journey that we call life. So Leo, thank you for supporting me on my journey and being a part of it. It just, I literally have no words, even though I usually have a lot of words, um, but it really just is something that is magical for me. So thank you, Leo's. I love you all so very much. Let's get into the reading. Um, at the end of the reading, I will be getting each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards you for the week. So stick around towards the end. And I will also be doing some um, sound fork frequency for anybody who wants a little bit of sound healing. I'm going to start doing that at the end of some readings because this is something new that I'm getting into, as well as wanting to incorporate with um, these sessions and energies that I am going to be giving away to help heal the collective. So let's see here, Leo, your first card out is playfulness. All right, some resurfacing or surfacing of some lighthearted energy here. We also have devotion. All right, Leo. And you also have self-love. Okay, beautiful energy to receive. So, Leo, I definitely feel like you're going to be receiving some more effort from love this week. This is a very strong energy that is coming from directly your self-love. So, the amount of love you've been giving to yourself, the amount of care and effort you've been giving to you looks like it is going to be boomeranged back in for you this week. So uh, a lot of you working on your self-love journey, you know, self-love journey lasts a lifetime. We never stop our self-love journey. It is a continuous journey throughout our whole life. This card is indicating is as you love who you are, you become more confident in your relationships and with yourself. And with playfulness and devotion, I definitely feel like something pretty excite. I get I get an energy of excitement. I also do get an energy of childlike adolescence. So, you know, some of you in relationships could actually be putting in more effort to become pregnant if that is a connection for you. It doesn't have to be all of you. Others of you, I just see that somebody's putting more effort into you this week. So if you're in a relationship, if you're dating somebody, if you're wanting to date somebody, it definitely looks like somebody is in a position of wanting to show you more love through their actions and their words. Specifically, could have a little bit of recapturing of romance for any of my Leos who felt like maybe there was a little bit of tension or things felt dry in the relationship. Let's give a clarification to this and see what else is coming through. We have playfulness to have faith. So for some of you, you are actually attracting in somebody who is at the same level as you in... Okay. There goes half faith. That is also just as playful and just as fun and just as lighthearted. You know, Leo, you are a fire energy, so you do have that oomph that some energies could be lacking. There is a very large indication that for some of you, you are attracting in a new love that is very in tune with who you are. 
On devotion, we have love language. All right. Leo. And on self love, we have ecstasy. Okay. My Leos who have been single, working on self love, working on themselves specifically, you've been trying your best to keep the faith in love. You've been trying your best to keep that openness for love. I definitely feel like for some of my single Leos, you are attracting in somebody that just speaks your love language. They just get it. They just know. You may find that you're very compatible with this person or very similar to this person. So for a lot of you Leos that are single, I definitely feel faith being restored in your love life where you are connecting with somebody who... You know, you don't really have to teach them how to love you. It's like they come and they already have that knowing. So that's why I feel like ecstasy is here. Because this person is going to elevate your mind, your body, and your soul. Some of my Leos who are in connections or in relationships, you could be learning how to love each other. You know, um, I do feel like singles, I get an energy where this person is similar to you. If you are not single and you are pursuing somebody, you are in a relationship, you may find that this person gives you more effort this week in learning how to love you, where possibly in the past or most recently, they were just kind of doing their own thing, doing what they felt was right, doing what they felt like you liked. You know, a lot of the times that happens, you think to yourself, well, I know I like this, so they probably like this too. Not everybody's like that. So I definitely feel like for a lot of my Leos who are in something already, you're seeing this person put more effort in learning and understanding what you need from a partner, which I actually really like. These are really nice cards here. So let's see what we have from the Mystic Moon Oracle for you, Leo, and then we'll get some tarot on this. So first card out is we have offer definitely new energy coming your way or whatever you're receiving from this person. It just feels new. It feels different. Maybe they weren't really learning or understanding you. And now this week they are coming in with what you need. So we also have signs. So some of you have been getting signs about this person coming into your life or signs that this offer or devotion is coming in. You may have been seeing this person's name, seeing things that was reminding you of them. And you have, I mean, there you go, fresh start. So you have a new cycle opening up here for you in your love life, Leo. Offer to fresh start. Some of you are getting signs of a new love for sure. The signs can be anywhere. You know, everybody gets their own spiritual signs because spirit tries to figure out what you specifically will pay attention to. I may not pay attention to the same thing that you'll pay attention to. So really look around, be observant. Others of you, spirit has been giving you signs and synchronicity of this new energy that's coming from this person. Hmm. Clarify this for Leo. Offer a fresh start to signs. I like this. Clarify this, please. So on offer, we have inner child Yes, this is really going to feel like you longed for this energy. You longed for this type of love from this person or you have been longing for this type of individual in general. Maybe, you know, inner child energy is not always connected to. So you may have felt like you've had a longing but not necessarily sure what it meant or you felt this influence within, but weren't really able to point your finger on what it was. But there's definitely something here that's going to really hit home in your heart. Whatever this offer is, wherever this person is, or whomever they are, something's happening with this individual where you just feel like you're finally receiving what you need out of love. Need, not want, need. And signs to shadow work. So for some of you, you were getting signs that there were still things that you had to work on for this connection to strive. You had to work on for this person to come in. A lot of you, you were having to work on some self-love. Others of you, you've been having to work on your faith. 
Some of you, self-love and faith were both a lesson at the same time. And on Fresh Start, we have mirroring. All right. So I feel like for a lot of you Leo singles, there's definitely somebody coming in that you feel very similar to. Why is mirroring here? Others of you, you may have been in a very strong mirroring energy with your person, and now there's finally more action-oriented energy. Let's see, on mirroring, we have fear. For some of you, your, your external life was just mirroring your inner fears about love. And now that you have gone through this shadow work process... There's able to be more fresh energy in your life. We have tribe. So your spiritual support system is coming in extremely strong for you in your love life. And I feel like this week, there is this offer that you've just been longing for. That you have just been, your heart has been longing for it. And like I said, some of you haven't even felt this longing in your heart. Your mind may have just been like, no heart, stop wanting things, stop wanting things to happen for you. And your heart is finally going, you may even find some like flutter energy where something so nice comes your way and your heart jumps a little bit, you know, something like that. It's a good heart jump. Okay. Not an anxious one. So let's get some tarot on this and see what it's all about. So I'm going to split this up for you, Leo's. I'm going to do past, current, and new um, because for some of you, this could be a different energy for all of you. So Leos who are connecting to a past person or if this is a past person for Leo, what do you want them to know? Past person for Leo. King of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. So it looks like this past person has been pretty stubborn in opening up. They may have been even giving you the cold shoulder and not really acting that emotional, or they've just been stubborn with their time and energy, um, possibly saying that they'll do things, not really doing them. Let's see, what else on this past person? Judgment, Eight of Swords, the Star. Okay. So there is a pretty high indication that for some of you, a past person can be coming around here. I feel like, hmm, why is the star here? Nine of Cups. Okay. I was going to say some of you are a little bit iffy about it. Others of you may be more open to it, but you have the star to the Nine of Cups. So connected to judgment, whatever's coming from a past person for some of you, it's going to give you the clarity that you need about the connection, about yourself, or about where this is going with this person. So there is wish fulfillment connected to a past person here. Some of you definitely could be receiving some offer or some effort from a past person who's been really closed off on giving it. Like they're not just like a regular closed off energy. They were like super stubborn. So there is some sort of judgment call to this where there's finally time or finally an energy to see some clarity on this connection. Nine of cups, eight of pentacles. Yeah. Some of you definitely having a past person coming in, wanting to put some effort into you. Let's see what we have for current energies. Keep in mind, for some of you, you could be currently connecting to a past person. You could be currently connecting to a new person. Some of you may have a new or past. This is why I'm splitting it out so y'all can um, figure it out a little bit easier or understand it a little bit more. Current person, we have the Empress. Some of you are currently working on childbearing for sure. Why do we have the Empress here for Leo for current person? Current person, some of you are married as well. We have the Tower, the Fool, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's definitely a surprise new energy coming from your person where they may have been stressing you out. Leo's in relationships. Y'all been feeling a little stressed? Y'all been feeling a little bit in your head? Why is a Nine of Swords here? High Priestess, Ten of Swords. Okay, some of you Leos with a current person... Things may be hmm. 
Why does it look like you're ending things with a current person? Possibly they've end things with you. But if that's not the case, then there was a lot of stress that's ending. So what's going down here with a current person? Could have been some tower moments lately with your current energy. Magician, six of wands. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you Leos are maybe making a decision to end things with somebody and see what else is out there. I actually feel like if that's the case for some of you Leos, um, new love may come a bit quicker than you were anticipating. If you have ended things with somebody currently, Leo, um, you may actually see why that was a blessing in disguise for you. Others of you... If y'all are still together with a current person, there's definitely an end of some crappy cycle. Either for some of you, it's just it was just the final finality of it. Others of you, it's just closing out and there's a new one. But for some reason, with current energy, I feel like the new cycle is going to be better no matter what, whether it is with this person or without this person. So... Current energy has a little bit of double message here. Some of you, I need to tell you that it's a blessing in disguise with an ending with a current person. Others of you, um, it, it's a definite blessing that this current stressful cycle is over. I'll tell you that. I don't know what the heck's happened between the two of you, but it definitely could have felt destructive. Okay, so, but some of you needed to hear that. If you went through an ending with somebody that you were currently around for a while... Um, let it happen, let it go, and let it flow. There's somebody, somebody way better out there for you. Or there's something way better out here for you. And it's almost like spirit is showing you quickly for some reason. They're not, like, making you wait for it. Let's see. New energy coming Leo's way. Hello, three of cups. Could be meeting this person out through friends or in a dating-like energy. Why is the Three of Cups here? New love for Leo. New love for Leo. New love for Leo. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. And the Five of Swords. Okay. So, Leo, I feel like if some of you are connecting to the message where I said you may have currently gone through a breakup or separation, new love is coming your way quickly. Are you 110% ready for it? Uh, I don't know. That's probably why self-love is here because you're focusing on that energy and you, you know, sometimes I see that happen quicker. Sometimes I don't, but this is a quick energy. So I get spirit bringing a new person in for you moderately quickly after an ending. But with the five of swords here, I'm not necessarily sure how ready you are for that. Let's see, new love for Leo, temperance, ten of cups, five of wands. Some of you just don't feel ready within yourself yet if you did have an ending recently. Others of you, you definitely have a new person here. But for some reason, you're still working on having faith in people with love. Does that mean spirit won't bring you a new individual? No, you can still be working on your faith and they bring you a bunch of people. But there's definitely a new person here. This person may even ask to see you. Lovers, the three of swords here. Some of you are very fearful of being put in a third party relationship. Knight of swords and the eight of cups. All right, so I feel like new love is coming your way, but you could still have a little bit of insecurities around giving your all to someone. Either because you have gone through an ending recently or you are just still in the process of healing. New love is definitely surfacing, though. And I get a push and pull energy because it's almost like your heart wants to experience it, but your mind is like, no, Leo. Remember what happened last time? You're, it looks like you're working on removing that energy of not having faith. Let's see. We have the chariot, three of pentacles, and the seven of wands. So you definitely have new love here. They're coming in moderately quickly after something ended for you or this person just coming in 
and there's still a little bit unreadiness in the mind, but I feel like the heart wants to experience some love. So you look a bit resistant towards it. Why is the seven of wands here? Page of cups. Some of you may tell this person, okay, well, let's just go slow. Let's start off like this. Um, I feel like with new love, you're in a position of wanting to take it a bit slower than usual, or you're just in a process of let's keep the pace at this level. I'm still working on things. So that's what I have here for you, Leo. In terms of zodiac signs that came through, we have Aquarius, Aries, Scorpio, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Sagittarius. <clears throat> So let's see what we have in the next portion of this reading. Each zodiac sign's feelings and actions towards Leo for the week. And then we're going to get a tarot card to match for the actions. Each zodiac sign's actions towards Leo for the week. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Oh no, these are backwards. All the way from Aries to Pisces. Please show me each zodiac sign's actions towards Leo for the week. Okay. Each zodiac sign's actions towards Leo. Okay, Leo. Here we go. Let's get started. We have Aries actions towards you. I'm sorry. Feelings for you are I love you. Their actions towards you are the five of swords. Could have been a breakup or an ending here with an Aries or some sort of argument challenge between the two of you. Despite that, they still love you. They still want to love you. But it could be a bit of a frustrating or difficult situation with an Aries. Despite that, they still have love for you. Let's see their actions towards you. Five of Swords to the Magician. If there was an ending or breakup, I feel like Aries is trying to manifest you back into their energy. Next, we have his Taurus. I will wait for a sign from you and the King of Wands. So Taurus is in the position of waiting for a sign from you. They may feel like it's not their time to take action or they're just waiting for a certain moment. Maybe they feel like you don't want to talk to them or something like that. King of Wands, they definitely want to take action towards you. They want to nurture this connection. They're highly attracted towards your energy. But for some reason, they feel the need to wait for something from you first to feel more confident in coming your way. But with the King of Wands, they definitely could take action towards you this week. And we have Gemini. I can't stop thinking about you and the Five of Pentacles. Could have neglected a Gemini or made a Gemini feel neglected. They can't stop thinking about you. Possibly a Gemini ghosted you or left you out. They still can't stop thinking about you for some reason. Why? Um, some of you just feel like alone from a Gemini physically. Let's see. They have the Five of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles. So they may want to show you more stability or want more of that quality time energy with you where possibly you two have been alone from each other or away from each other. Next up is Cancer. I hide behind material things and the Eight of Swords. So Cancer's all up in their head about this connection. They have no idea what to do. They're thinking of worst case scenario and they're just definitely letting their mind get to them. They hide behind material things in one way, shape or form, either with work or gifts but they're definitely in their head about you. They may even cause you to overthink as well this week. We have Leo. I wonder if you're happy without me in the Four of Wands. So it could be some distance here between you and Leo, but they definitely want to be with you. They want love with you. Some of you were in a relationship with a Leo or are in a relationship with a Leo, and they want more togetherness and more connection with you. Possibly they feel like you're ignoring them or just not in their energy as much. But they definitely want to take actions towards being with you, for sure. Next we have is Virgo. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you and the Nine of Cups. So some sort of wish fulfillment coming from a Virgo could hear from them, could receive some sort of energy, devotion from them. Sometimes they stay awake thinking about you. So in their 
nighttime energies when they're lying in bed they are definitely thinking about you here leo some days nine of cups receiving some sort of soul satisfaction energy from a virgo next we have is libra i want to be more than friends and the hermit some of you definitely um, decided to not be with a Libra and they want to be with you. They don't want to be friend zone. They don't want this to be over. They want you to come out of the shadows and give them more of yourself. Some of you, a Libra is to themselves, yet they want to be friends. They could be wanting more of a chase out of you. Next we have is Scorpio. We both know I'm not the one for you and the lover's. Okay, that makes no sense. Scorpio could be a little bit contradictive sometimes, or sometimes they feel like you two have such problems and issues that there's no way you two are meant to be together. But then just the way they feel about the connection, they're like, no, I'm meant to be with Leo. Sorry, but that's what it says. Let's see, why is the lovers here? The Six of Pentacles, yeah, like what? Um, I feel like this Scorpio feels like you two are so similar, similarly different. Some days this Scorpio is like, no way there. We, we argue too much or there's too much difference here. Or there's too much difference there. But then deep down inside, they know they really love you. They know they really want to be with you. So sometimes a Scorpio may talk. Because they're trying to make sense out of things, but in reality, they know their heart wants to be with you. Because this really makes absolutely no sense. Um, <laughs> sorry, Scorpio Crosswatcher, if you're here. Um, some of you, you may actually have a reconciliation with a Scorpio who even thought in the past that you two were never meant to be together. They may actually be coming back around and changing their mind about that. Because this is total contradictive energy, which gives me as a reader that they could be changing their mind about something in the good aspect of feeling like you two are meant to be. Next we have is Sagittarius. I want to tell you how I feel and the page of swords. So definitely Sagittarius is watching you very closely. They could also be asking you questions, feeling you out, trying to see what you're all about or how you feel about things because they want to tell you how they feel. But with the Page of Swords, this is kind of like for me, if this, if Page of Swords is telling you how they feel, I get like a beating around the bush type of energy where they're not saying it's straight, but you may be able to read between the lines that Scorpio is trying to tell you something of how they feel about you. Next we have is Capricorn. I wish I could share my good news with you and the Eight of Wands. All right, well, definitely sharing something. That's the conversation card here. Definitely some sort of breakthrough in conversation with you and a Capricorn. Could even be traveling to see each other or planning to do that with the Eight of Wands. They wish they could share their good news with you. And it looks like it's not only a wish, it's something that they're going to do. So definitely conversation energy with a Capricorn. Movement forward towards more success, more growth in the connection. We have Aquarius. It was my fault, but I blamed you. And the Ace of Wands. So definitely expect a phone call message here from an Aquarius or some sort of indication of telling you that they want to be happier with you again. It was their fault, but they blamed you. So definitely something could have happened with an Aquarius where they didn't take full accountability or accountability at, accountability at all and just pointed the finger at you. And in reality, they're realizing that that wasn't the way to go. Definitely some sort of um, initiation from an Aquarius. And Pisces. I lost myself for a little while and the Two of Swords. So Pisces has no idea what to do about this connection. I feel like they've lost themselves for a little while and I feel like they're still trying to find themselves. I feel like their heart is a bit off or they don't know how to open their heart or use their feelings, which yes, I know it doesn't make sense. They're an emotional water sign, but just because you're emotionally intuitive, that also means you should know how to turn off your heart and off your heart. And a Pisces could be very good at doing that. They're really indecisive about what to do with this connection. They don't understand what their intuition is saying, what their mind is saying, what their heart is saying. They're just having a troubled time. We have the Two of Swords, so the Queen of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like they have feelings for you. I just feel like they don't know what to do with any of these feelings, if anything at all. So... Leo, let's make sure everyone's out here for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, Leo. So 
Let's move into getting the frequency forks. So you know I share everything with y'all as much as I possibly can. So I started looking into frequency and sound healing because it is definitely something that I'm into. Y'all know I'm also in massage therapy school. To become a licensed massage therapist, I do want to incorporate um, myself as a reader, as a spiritual teacher, as well as a guidance energy and also be able to help people heal hands-on um, because I had a holistic way of healing through brain hormonal secretion to my herniated discs, sciatic pain in my back and it was really something that um, caused a lot of depression for me and really changed a lot of my life and when I healed and when I figured out a way to heal that had nothing to do with pharmaceutical or doctor or anything like that I felt like it was in my life's purpose to help other people do this as well. That's why I got into massage therapy because I don't have the time and energy to go through all the chiropractic stuff, which I would have loved to done that as well. But massage can do the same thing as well as working with the brain and the spine as well as our um, mandula oblongata down there. So there's a lot of things. Um, that I wish I could just make videos of and talk on, but I am a reader. So the, a lot of the videos that I do and make only reach a certain amount of people because of my stuff is tarot reading focused. So what I would really enjoy from each and every one of you Leos on here is to go to Miss Machiste, my regular channel and subscribe to there. I'm going to start getting out a lot more of these videos, spiritual teaching videos, as well as back on that channel for monthlies and mid-month readings for all zodiac signs and back to doing questions because I've gotten a couple hours done for school. So I have a little bit more of the free time to do that. So we are going to start off with some of our frequency forks. Please put this as, um, as high as you possibly can on your phone, on your speakers, whatever you're using for. And I will link a video down below explaining frequency and sound healing. And this one is going to be the highest pitch. Thank you, Leos, for being here, for watching, and once again, for being my lovely Leos out there. And I'm going to actually put these on a board so I can do them multiple at a time. I just have it in the other room. And so I'm going to link down below the video that is connected to the importance of sound frequency 
and really how healing it is to our body, our mind, and our souls, as well as uh, the diseases and the cancers that our bodies um, end up, you know, creating through toxins and poisons. So basically, there's a whole lot more to come here. And the more I know, the more I learn, the more I will share with you. I do not gatekeep nothing. We are all meant to win. We are all meant to strive. And we have infinite abundance available for us all if you truly believe in that. So thank you, Leos. I love you all once more again. And I will talk to you very soon. Have a great week wherever you are at in the world. Bye now.